Hey guys, even here and in today's video we got some pretty interesting bodybuilding updates. We're gonna take a look at some of the bodybuilders who are doing the upcoming shows such as Arnold Classic Brazil, New York Pro, Detroit Pro. So as you can see we are starting with Tonio Burton who just posted this physique update on daylighting so it's very clear you can see exactly where he's at at uh, 7 weeks out of New York Pro where he's gonna be facing Nick Walker and also two weeks out of Arnold Classic Brazil, less than two weeks. So, can he do some actual damage at the New York Pro? Well, in terms of winning against Nick Walker, no, no, that's not happening. But as far as placing second, even though he won the New York Pro last year, it's gonna be tough to get that second spot at the New York Pro. I'm gonna show you why exactly. However, as far as winning the Arnold Classic Brazil in two weeks, is that gonna happen? Also, highly unlikely, highly unlikely against Rafael Brandau, but I gotta say, Tony Burton looks amazing right now, I mean, take a look at his physique, so he is bringing condition, that's for sure, and he has crazy shape, like super bubbly physique, I mean, just look at how round those freaking delts are, not just delts, everything is round on this guy, basically, plus, he has a really small waist, which today is a very, very important trait, it's not something everybody has, now, granted, Tony Burton is not exactly a mass monster, he's definitely amongst the smallest guys in that top 10 Olympia, but I mean, top t actually top 8, I mean, what are we talking about here? This guy's 8th best bodybuilder in the world right now. I mean, sure, Rafael Branda wasn't that Mr. Olympia, nor was Nick Walker, but still, this was still an amazing achievement, and this guy is definitely a threat to both of these shows, but like, do I see him winning any of those two? Not really and there are no points to win, so if he wants to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, he needs to do another show, a lower level show, maybe a show such as Detroit Pro, which he can win. Once again, crazy we taper, crazy X-frame actually, like super super tiny waist, super bubbly physique, everything is popping, I would like to see a little bit more mass overall, especially like in the adductors and legs, maybe a little bit more in the chest and he just needs overall thickness, like he needs to get a little bit thicker, bigger, but really he is very complete, he just doesn't have the biggest frame, right? Look at his back for example, like also he's shredded already, but look at the Christmas tree. But like as far as development in the back, like he has muscle everywhere, lats are filled out, upper traps, like everything, everything is just really there, shoulders especially, like they're super round, and with the small waist, he has a lot of muscle. It's just that his shoulders are a little bit narrow, like structurally he's not super wide, super big, and I guess chest could be a little bit uh, wider and fuller, but I guess that's also connected with the, the shoulder width, and also I would like to see a little bit bigger adductors. Now, now, let's talk about Arnold Classic Brazil. Like I said, I don't see him beating Rafael Brando. We all saw what he looked like at the Arnold Classic, it was just amazing, some people think he even challenged Samson Dauda, it was by far his biggest, his best version, and in my opinion that's potentially like top 6 Olympia material, so like he is very good, very very good. And this is a physique update of him at 2 weeks out of Arnold Classic Brazil, so obviously he did get a little bit chubby, you know, a little bit watery, which is perfect which is great, which is, I mean, he shouldn't be super dry the entire time between the Arnold Classic Ohio and Brazil, I mean, that's like, how many, five weeks, four or five weeks, so that, that's a long, long time to stay in perfect shape, so, of course, he got a little bit watery, and he's gonna dry out before the show, and he might look even better, Neil Hill knows what he's doing, he's letting Rafael's body relax, not be peaked the entire time, and then... When the time comes, he's gonna deplete, then carb up, you know, dry out, and he's gonna peak again for the Arnold Brazil, which is probably Rafael's most important show, as he says, so maybe he's gonna look even better there than he did at the Arnold uh, in the US. So, Tonio is most likely gonna battle Guduito for that second spot at the Arnold Brazil, and Guduito is looking good, <laughs> he's looking great right now, I mean, he is shredded, he also has a super small waist, but he's not narrow in the shoulders, no, 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 he is very wide in those freaking shoulders, his lats are popping like crazy, and I think he's just bigger, more impressive, I mean, just wider, you know, more freaky, so I think Ludwito has an actual chance of pushing Rafael Brandao, 
But that's just me guessing. I have no idea what he's gonna look like when he steps on the stage. Realistically, I think this guy is gonna battle for that second against Tony Burton. And down below in the comment section, you guys can tell me who do you think is better. I think it's a very interesting comparison. I think it's very, very close. But whoever wins here, whoever places above who, is gonna be the favorite going to Detroit Pro. And as for right now, we don't know if Tony is doing Detroit, but he's doing New York. Unless he wins on Brazil, then I guess he's not gonna do it, but I don't think that's gonna happen. He's doing New York and Detroit is between these two shows, so he might jump in. It could be a good way for him to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, but that's what Guduito is aiming as well. So we might see these guys clash twice. What do you guys think? Who's gonna beat who? Like I said earlier, Tony Burton is not beating Nick Walker, the New York pro, and I said he might not even play second because... Angel Calderon is doing New York Pro, and this is what he looks like right now, at 7 weeks out. Of course, as we all know, Angel Calderon is a 212 guy, and you can see it, basically, he is very short. Last year, he placed 3rd after Kion Pearson and Sean Clarida, but recently, I believe 2 years ago, he won an Open Pro show, he won Romania Pro, and, you know, he can go, he can go against the big guys. Tonio Burton also used to be a 212 guy, he's a little bit taller, but does he have this kind of graininess that Angel Calderon has? I think this guy is arguably the most grainy bodybuilder of today, like he has that crazy insane level of hardness and details and he gets super conditioned, and this is what he looks like when he's doing the 212, so now that he's doing the open, he can definitely be more relaxed, he doesn't have to make the weight, he can come in bigger and fuller. No, he didn't beat Sean Clarida and Keon Pearson, but I mean, those guys are just insane right now. The Mr. Olympia, they were just crazy, both of them. But I feel like he was in a pretty close third. He was very competitive against them. He was, you could compare him against those two guys. It wasn't that far. Like, he's also really complete, really shredded. I mean, super, super grainy. And he's doing the New York Pro, no, he cannot challenge Nick Walker, I mean, the, the size discrepancy is just too big, but Tony Burton, this can be interesting. I would still choose Tony Burton as my favorite, but, you know, Angel Calderon is gonna give him a run for his money. Honestly, guys, I wouldn't be too surprised if I heard that James Hollingshead is doing Garano Classic Brazil. As for right now, there are no news about that, but he did say that he would like to do all Arnold Classics one year. Currently, there are only three of them, there is also an amateur one in the IFBB, I mean the other division, the European one where I competed, uh, but that's not in the MPC or IFBB Pro League, so we have right now in IFBB Pro League, Arnold Classic Ohio, Arnold UK and Arnold Brazil, so James said that he would like to do all of them, all three of them, and he already did two of them, so why not jump into the Arnold Brazil, he could do pretty well. Can he beat Rafael Branda? Well, as long as Rafael is on, no, no. But if James brings something new, a new level of conditioning, some crazy peak that we never saw before, because I don't think he was 100% on. I mean, he couldn't have been that much better, maybe like 15%. So if he gets a little bit better, and let's say Rafael comes in a little bit off, then maybe, like, he has a lot of size, big frame and all that. But yeah, I still wouldn't bet on it. But I mean, second in Donald Classic Brazil would still be a great success. Will he do it? I have no idea. But he might do Detroit Pro. He's talking about potentially doing it. He is definitely considering it. He might do it. There are three more weeks. And this is what he looks like right now. I would really be curious to see what James would look like if he learned how to pull a vacuum. Imagine that. I mean, the biggest flaw that I see in his physique is like... He's uh, not necessarily waist size, but like torso size. He has like massive legs. They are forming a great X taper. His arms are also pretty big. Maybe not the greatest, maybe not the best when he puts them down. But once he does the front double bicep, like you can see a pretty peaking biceps and hanging triceps. But what he's missing to show a good wee taper is, I mean, I would like to see more popping lats, but more so, I would like to see a little bit smaller torso. And I think he could make his waist seem smaller if he pulled the stomach in, but like deep. If he learned how to do a vacuum, I think it could change his physique a lot. A lot. It's not that his lats are that small, but with this crazy big midsection area, 
his lats are looking smaller, and his arms as well. And I don't think I ever saw James hitting a vacuum, so he probably never even tried, on stage at least. Maybe he doesn't like the idea of a vacuum, or he's too lazy to try and do it, but I believe it could benefit him greatly. What do you guys think? Also, we got a physique update of Nick Walker at 7 weeks out of New York Pro, and I gotta say, finally, he's starting to look hard, he's starting to get that hardness. And you guys know how it is when you start your prep, at first you're depleted, but you're still not super lean, so you kind of look the worst you're ever gonna look. But at a certain point, when your body fat goes low enough, and your insulin sensitivity increases, so you get fuller with less carbs, you start looking harder and harder, and this is that point for Nick Walker, but it's only starting to happen right now. We still have to wait a couple more weeks for him to look really, like, really impressive, but right now, he does look better. You can also see it right here in the shoulders, and the arms, and the forearms. He's definitely getting that, that grainy look that he didn't have in the past uh, weeks since he started the prep. In the offseason, I mean, between uh, his prep and, uh, and after the Mr. Olympia, he really did hold, like, a very low body fat percent, and he was still blasting full from all the food he was eating, but then he started eating less, getting in condition, so he lost some of that pop. But now, he is getting it back. Look at the freaking shoulder and, and the arm there in the forearm. Like, he's definitely getting hard. And again, there are seven weeks left until the Arnold Classic. He's gonna, I mean, it's not really the matter of whether he's gonna win or not, but how good, how impressive is he gonna look? What kind of a freak show are we gonna see at that New York Pro? That's gonna be amazing, I can't wait for it. Anyways, guys, in the comment section down below, tell me what do you think about whichever topic of this video. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.